is Jay with Jay Robots. Okay, so welcome back to another one of Death Battle. Today's episode is Bane Breaks into Death Battle. But, yeah. Uh, the thing is, either he breaks into Death Battle or he breaks Death Battle. I don't, I didn't remember, but now I do. Okay. I am really looking forward to this fight. And it comes out next week. I am super happy about that. And also, yes, I told you guys, I was going to still keep doing these. Yes, I'm working on a new show, but... I'm not gonna stop me from my personal life, and my other YouTube, well, and my other YouTube videos coming out. Um, hey, uh, Bane is here. Uh, Bane is probably my second favorite Batman villain, uh, behind Deathstroke. Um, so it's pretty cool to have him in, and against Venom. Uh, as much as it's a massive curb stomp for Venom, um, not that bad of a matchup. I don't know why people hate this one. Uh, probably because it's just the curb stomp. But pe people need to realize they've done curb stomps before. That I'm gonna take the exception that Dylan's home. Um, all right, let's get started. <laughs> In his personal mission to drive crime from Gotham City, Batman has faced dozens of foes, each more vile and cunning than the last. But none challenged his <coughs> willpower more than the monstrous man called Bane. Bane's life was screwed from the start. He was born into prison and made to carry out his dead dad's life sentence. Talk about carrying the sins of your father. I mean, who puts a baby in jail? Couldn't it just, like, crawl through the bars? Did they make a baby jail? I so many questions. The <laughs> child spent his dawning years in captivity, forced to fend for himself against a cruel and unforgiving world. Then one day, a fateful accident caused something to snap inside him. I'm guessing his neck. No, well, it should have. Instead, the boy slipped into a coma where he saw a vision of his future self, a man standing above all other men. Future Self told him he would be second to none, so long as he could conquer the power of fear, which is apparently shaped like a bed. Huh, would you look at that? What are the odds? When the child <laughs> woke, he began his journey to conquer that fear, through the power of bloody murder. Hell yeah! Oh. That's also when the prison warden called him a Bane to everything holy. And that's why he's named Bane. Ugh, two out of ten. Anyway, it was <laughs> poor Bane caught wind of a certain bat ruling Gotham City by fear. But he got to work trying to become the ridiculously jacked guy he saw in his dream so he could take down Batman once and for all. As he grew up, Bane entered an intense daily workout regimen, not just of his body, but his mind as well. He educated himself in 10 languages, escapology, combat tactics, and several martial arts, including a few he created himself. Bane pretty much became a legend across the prison, so to remind everybody who was in charge, the warden decided to make an example of him. See, this place wasn't just a prison. The army of Santa Prisco was conducting tests on human subjects with an experimental formula called Venom. Wait, they had a symbiote? What? He's got the thing that bonded to the Spider-Man guy, right? Why are we making him fight himself? No, no, the, the <laughs> symbiote is called Venom. But the Venom symbiote can be liquid, right? So who's to say he isn't just getting injected with Spider-Man villains? <laughs> oh, this, this is going to take way too long to explain to him. Just, <laughs> just come back next week and watch the full episode of Venom vs. Bane. He'll, he'll have figured it out by then. Or Bane vs. himself! Yeah. Um, a lot of people made that last joke, too. Um, so, while I kind of saw it coming, it was still funny. Um... But, um, <sighs> guys, I honestly don't know what to say. I mean, if you are a really big Batman fan and you love Bane to death, I feel complete and total sorrow for you. You get to watch one of the most powerful Batman villains die to an alien symbiote. I'm... <laughs> I like Bane, but I'm honestly rooting for Venom because I just... 
it's kind of the whole Batman versus Spider-Man thing, and I, and if we're basing it off of that, I've always liked Spider-Man more. Um, so I'm, I am rooting for Venom, so I hope he wins. And quite honestly, I really don't see how he can't. Um. <sighs> well, as much as I am rooting for Venom, it's going to suck for me too. Because I have to watch my second favorite Batman villain after what? Okay, I had, I, like, two years ago, two, maybe three years ago, I had to watch my favorite Batman villain, Deathstroke get his head cut off by a perverted, uh, psychotic Spider-Man ripoff. How do you think that made me feel? And now I have to watch my second favorite Batman villain. As much as I really don't care for Batman, uh, I love Bane, and I love Deathstroke. But now I have to watch Bane die to an alien symbiote that just is utterly insane. That does not make me feel good. As much as I'm rooting for Venom, that does not make me feel good. Yeah, so, uh, I hope Venom wins. Venom should win. Uh, will he win? Probably. Uh, these guys... Uh, believe that, well, well, I agree with them. They believe that Spider-Man beats Batman. And while I agree with that, that also means that, you know, Venom's gonna beat Bane. And while that's accurate as well, um, there's, literally, if it was, if it was accurate or not, um, Bane is not winning this one. Like, there's a difference between... With Death Battle, there's, um, there's a difference between who should win and who will win. Um, those are two completely different questions. So that's, it's just for, not just for Death Battle, but for anything. Um, but who should win? Venom, easily. Who will win? Also Venom, easily. So, Venom does win because he has essentially every single stat over the guy. Um, the only advantage is that, uh, Bane has, sorry, my nose is really runny, um, the only advantages that Bane has are intelligence and just raw fighting skill. That's about it. Venom has essentially everything else. And even Batman fan, even fan, even Bane fans who love Bane, like, like a sibling or whatever, even they think that he doesn't stand a chance. Um, but even for uh, on death battle standards, as as smart as they are, they're not flawless research. They're not flawless researchers. Not even the research team who just recently got an NDA. Um, uh, they're not flawless either. They're still human. Um, they make mistakes. Sure, they make those mistakes a lot, but they're mistakes, you know. Um, but um, in terms of who will win on death battle, using death battles logic, Venom should still win because um, Venom is a more powerful but less smart version of Spider-Man, whereas Bane is a, um, stronger, yet less intelligent and gadgetless, uh, version of Batman if Batman didn't use any stealth. And considering that, you know, Spider-Man beat Batman, you can tell how this is gonna go. <laughs> You can tell that Venom just isn't going to lose this one. Like, as much as I love Bane, he's just not going to win. Like, he can't. It's impossible. Like, people have said, oh, but what if... If Venom kills... 
Venom. If Bane kills uh, Eddie Brock, and then the symbiote takes up takes over Bane, would that be a win for the symbiote or Venom? Um, still Venom because well even either that either way Bane is still gonna lose, so it doesn't matter. Um, also, people are like, does Bane have any way to take out the symbiote? Because Spider Man did it in the in Spider Man Three. Um, first off, Bane doesn't have any explosions. He has he has one gun, and he has his and he has his he has his venom. Um, they're not like he has nothing sound to generate sound waves. He has no fire related powers. Um, the symbiote has been frozen, but it's broken out of it, so that's that doesn't apply. And besides, Bane doesn't have ice powers anyway, and. Yeah, honestly, he just, like, he can kill Eddie. He just doesn't, he just can't kill the symbiote. And if you can't kill the symbiote, then you're gonna lose. Um, and the symbiote can fight and heal, and, like, the, the symbiote has a healing factor that is similar to Wolverine's. Or even, like, heck, I'll make it a little bit more applicable. Deadpool. Like, yeah. Like, the symbiote, uh, has a healing factor that is as good as Deadpool's. Um, and the symbiote loves Eddie. Loves Eddie. He's not, like, people are like, oh, well, uh, the symbiote could just consider Bane his new host, right? No. Bane, uh, the symbiote loves Eddie too much to, um, Like he, he he just loves it. He just loves him too much to not. Uh, if Bane kills Eddie, then maybe. But even then, Bane still loses. So honestly, there is no way. Like Bane doesn't have any BFR methods. He has no way to kill the symbiote. He can't win this one. It's honestly like it's not a case of like it's the most one-sided fight they've ever done, like, that title goes to Kratos versus Spawn, easily. Um, but, at the same time, it's not the fairest of battles. Okay, um, I am tired, and I am kind of busy. I literally am lucky to have this time, um, yeah, I'm tired and I'm busy, so I'm gonna go. Uh, hope you guys are excited for Venom versus Bane, because I certainly am. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.